Good morning, friends. This is Sergey Kromchenko from Kodemify. I still live in California, work as an engineering manager of SDAT, but today we're going to talk about five most common mistakes during the interview process for a QA, dev, or any IT position in the United States of America. Let's go! But before we kick it off, don't forget to subscribe and give me a big fat thumb up. So the first one, diffidence or self-doubt. A lot of you guys and a lot of our students, I would say most of our students, including myself, when I was the one, uh, having self-doubt or are diffident, which means we don't feel very comfortable or we don't feel kind of ready or we don't feel like we are able to talk to anyone during the interview process. And that's okay. All of us have been there for the first time and you're probably going to go there for the first time soon. And I know it is an issue, but what can you do about it? is number one you should always remember that what you know is what you know and nothing else if you are asked questions that you don't know answer to that means you have never learned that or you simply don't remember in any case don't try to come up with anything you need to answer in a way you know it you know show them your motivation show them that if you've learned in the past say yeah i've learned something in the past but i'm not 100 percent sure uh, you know, but never lie, never come up with something that you are not 100% sure about. So the second one, lie. This one is even worse than the first one because if you're, if you're lying, if you're coming up with something you're not really familiar with or you're not sure what it is, uh, you're going to run into a rabbit hole, which means you're going to get into the place from which there will be no way out. There's only one way if you start lying. So I would recommend you to only stick to the skills that you have. Otherwise, people will catch that. For example, I am interviewing a lot of people lately. And if I feel like person is lying, I'm like, that's it. That's over. And if you know, if I am guess, if I'm doubting if that person is lying or not, I'll just keep asking questions. If you say something like, oh, I use the Python, but there is no Python in your resume, I'll say, okay, how do you do basic things in Python? How do you write a for loop in Python? How do you find a duplicates in array in Python? And that's easy. That's super easy to find out if you're lying or not. So please do not. So third one, poor preparation. A lot of people, whenever they get comfortable with going through interview, they do not prepare. I've been there. My first interview ever, I've killed it because I was so afraid of going for an interview that I spent about two days, I slept about four to five hours just because I wanted to make sure I knew everything that this company requires. And I literally killed it, they gave me an offer right away. Uh, but then I relaxed because I was like, well, I got a first shot, you know, first kill. Then I go for a second interview, no go. Third interview, no go. Fourth interview, no go. Fifth interview, I'm like, uh, I guess I gotta prepare a little better. So don't get too comfortable, always prepare for an interview if you are interested in a company. If you're like, well, I'm not 100% sure about this company, that's up to you how to prepare. But if I like the company, I will do my best. I will spend about two days nonstop on preparing for that interview just because I know I wanna work for that company. Fourth one, over speaking. That's quite a common mistake uh, between our students and everyone else as well. Whenever you are afraid or whenever someone is afraid, a lot of times they start talking just because they don't know what to say. And that's a huge mistake because to me that sounds like a lie. If you're saying that you're familiar with such a framework or language and I'm like, oh, is he? I didn't see that in his resume or it just doesn't sound like you are. I will keep asking questions. I will keep digging. I'll find out I'll find out if you know the language or framework or if you do not. So please do not overspeak because you're pretty much volunteering an information that you have not been asked about. Don't do that. Stubborn that's also a very common mistake and uh, you can see people get stubborn during the interviews easily if you ask them questions where they need to have multiple answers or th where they need to answer, well, it depends on the situation. Well, it depends on how company is set up. Well, it depends on the language you use. So if you ever use word, it depends, 
that means you know that there are multiple ways to do things. That most likely means that you're not stubborn. You don't only have one way of thinking, one way of doing things. And that's what people like. They like when you can do same job in the multiple ways. They like when you can go to other people, ask them questions and find out the things that you've done before in one way can be done better in a different way. And you're not only stubborn on your own way. So these were five most common mistakes I want to interview. In the next video, I'm going to explain to you guys uh, what are the three main qualities that people want to see in you when you go for an interview in the United States? If you don't want to lose the video, please don't forget to give me a big fat thumb up and subscribe to our channel. Also, I'm going to put a link to our Telegram channel where we, uh, where we share many more things uh, during the week, not only one, one video per week as we do right now. So please sign up for that one. Also, we're starting new course in a month. Uh, you can find all of the information in the Telegram once again. Thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next video.